hello and welcome back to my beginner crochet adventure. Based on the last video I put up and the community poll I put up recently, there was basically a tie between doing granny square cardigan and a Sherpa coat. I'd really like to do both. And then a lot of you guys commented that the stitches would be really hard to see because of the material being so fluffy and it would be very frustrating for a beginner. So many comments on that kind of made me not want to try it, but I also found another pattern made by the same person who made that one called Mama in a Stitch, which was kind of a good middle between the chunky coat that I wanted to make, but also easier to see the stitches. I'll link all her Etsy shop and website down below. I'm finding more of the pattern makers that I like have ad-free PDFs on Etsy, so I'm just favoriting all my possible future crochet projects. The yarn she uses is wool, and I don't really like wool. I find it itchy. I think I want to try and find a different kind of yarn, maybe an acrylic. I love looking at the yarn section, but honestly, I get overwhelmed by the amount of colors and options. So I did go in there with in mind to feel everything as you suggested to do. And I kept in mind, what would I like to wear and what would I like to feel as a blanket? And just in general, what colors and textures I gravitate toward. This was during the weekend and there was a sale, which is great for me because that is the one time where I think it's great to buy yarn since it's kind of expensive in general. So clearance and sale time, I am there. So for my granny square blanket, I had two colors in mind to start with and then pick the rest from there. I wanted some kind of magenta color and then some kind of mustard color. The other two to three colors could be more neutral. I really liked this warm gray. And again, there's just so many colors to choose from. I liked this lilac color, but I think it was a little too close to mustard tone. I wanted to have some contrast. So I went with the magenta. It's called plum on the label. I don't think that's a plum at all. I think it's more of a magenta, so anyway, these are my colors that I'm going with for my granny square blanket. Now for the coat jacket I want to make, the pattern does call for a size 6 yarn. I like the feel of this line brand hometown yarn, which is the right size, but I didn't really see a color that I was gravitating toward. I was kind of hoping in mind to have some kind of rusty, burnt orange autumn color. And then I saw the exact color I was looking for and in this I like big yarn line and the texture is really cool, but it is a size 7 bulky yarn, which is bigger than the pattern calls for. There were only four left and it was half the price it is online, so I thought it was a good deal and I just got all of it that they had there. I also wanted some little scissors to cut only with my yarn and keep all my other scissors um, separate from my yarn projects. I did already have a size Q hook which I used on my previous project and I think it works with this even though it calls for a larger hook. But honestly, I think this yarn is more of like a six and a half size versus a seven. Correct me if I'm wrong, I'm still new to yarn sizes, but it worked fine with the size Q hook. And following the pattern, it worked up pretty quickly. And this yarn was really easy to work with. I had no problem seeing the stitches.
Right now, this is the back panel of the hoodie, and the pattern is really easy to follow, but I adjusted the measurements and the, the number of stitches because this is a thicker yarn than the pattern calls for, so it's not quite exactly the same. I estimated how long to make it uh, based on just like putting it up against me and uh, doing my own measurements, which is cool because then I can customize it to fit me, but I didn't, I'm kind of regretting my yarn choice. I love the color, as I've said, the texture of it's really nice and it's like squishy and soft, but it's really heavy. And <laughs> The more I make, uh, the more I'm hesitant and um, regretting my choice of yarn. This is just one panel, so what is like two more plus a hoodie gonna feel like? If this is a hoodie, like this feels like like a really heavy rug on my head. And I don't know if it feels heavy because it's like over 100 degrees outside and maybe this is just hot and uncomfortable right now or if it actually is like too heavy for a jacket. To get a feel for if I like the sleeves, it's really cozy and it's soft, but it's heavy. I thought I could get away with getting larger thicker yarn and I already had a hook so it eliminated me needing to buy another thing but I kind of feel like I should have gotten that hometown yarn in the same size as the pattern and just bought another hook to fit that size so I'm a little stuck right now I don't know if I should f keep going with this and just see how heavy of a jacket it is or maybe make two maybe I buy the other yarn and see what they both feel like I would need like 11 of those um, to make a hoodie also I bought all of this already from my local Joanne right now this is one and a half of these so if I want to get more of this it's probably gonna be full price is double the price of what I paid for. Also, do I need to wet block a sweater? Am I supposed to do that? I'm just now learning about it. If you have any suggestions or comments, I would love to read them. And let me know what you think.